I bet you didn't know kangaroos could fly. Well, they certainly can now. Well, maybe not fly, but they can jump like nobody's business. It is the most ridiculously amazing thing ever. <laughs> but welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, everybody. Today we're going to be going over the kangaroos and just how amazing they are. Sorry, not the kangaroos, the percoptodons. Uh, so we're going to be doing some breeding today. We're going to get some mutations and we're going to go over all the new abilities and how amazing they are now. Now, I've also noticed something that with the percoptodons, their little tail, the animation is much better. Their little tail like flops. It does do a little flop when they're walking. It's nice. It's a good added effect, I think. Oh, let's just enter the Therizino. There we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. The jump is a little crazy. I'm going to be honest. It's a little crazy. But all in all, it's pretty amazing. They've done an amazing job with the new model for the Procoptodon. It looks so, so much better than it did before, especially with the new fur. That wasn't supposed to pop up, but it did, and now it's there, and everything, everything ruined. Anyways, it's kind of sad that we don't have the classic grumpy Procoptodon face, but they do look significantly better. So we're trying to get some babies going on here. We've got our medium-sized dino breeding pen, which I've used quite a bit. I'm thinking it'll work for these. All right, your ego's not prego. Is your ego prego? Oh, it is. And we're about to have a baby. You, madame are beautiful by the way the colors look so much better than they did before all right so it does not look like we got a mutation i'm gonna let that baby walk around and see if this pen is actually gonna work for these i'm pretty sure it will uh, it's just a matter of actually getting the kangaroos to move around it might be better if it was three deep versus two deep um there we go i just want to see if the baby can actually walk through the front which oh yeah it definitely can definitely can it would actually be able to pro- Oh, these things look so adorable as frickin' babies. Oh my god. <gasps> look at its face. They used to look hideous. Now they are legitimately cute. Come here. Come into the light so we can look at your face. Please? Thank you. Oh, look at them. They're adorbs. I just want to snuggle it forever and make it mine. Look at your little face. The head is ginormous. <laughs> All right, so this breeding pen will work. We'll get the other female up in there as well and uh, see if we can not get some mutations. I hope you guys all enjoy the episode. If you do, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. Now, if you are curious about a T-Rex, the new T-Rex model mutations, as well as direwolves, I do have those videos on the channel, so don't forget to go ahead and check those out. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this other female up in there. We got bears getting their groove on, too. Not right now, though. We're saving that for an episode. Blink! Actually got a bear mutation. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. Uh, enable wandering. And the bear mutation is down here. It's red! It's beautiful. Look at your face. You are magnificent. So I did do want to do... <laughs> I did do want to do... Oh, my God. I did want to do some testing today. Let's go ahead and put that in there. So if you guys didn't know, you can actually put creatures inside the little pouches of the Percoptodons now, which is amazing. And look, what we're getting is an affinity bonus to things that we imprint when they are inside of the pouch, which is awesome. It is amazing. Now, I believe you can only keep something in the pouch until it's... Um, well, up until it's an adolescent, and then you can't actually get it in the pouch anymore. So we should be able to get a decent affinity boost while it is inside the pouch. we got like 14 minutes until that happens. Um, but I did want to show off what it looks like in the pouch. They look adorable! I like that the feet actually curl up on these. I forget, I think it was a dodo that I put in there before. And like all of its little bits were hanging out, which was a little funky. Um... Let's see here. We got another baby here. Doesn't look like it's got a mutation on it, but we'll go ahead and claim that so that we have something to test the affinity ratio at as far as the um, each cuddle to see how much of a bonus you get when cuddling something that's inside of the pouch first and not. So I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. I haven't seen what the results are yet. Oh, there's another one up there. <gasps> it's our first mutation. Oh, shit. 
It's purple. It's lavender. It's purple. It's lavender. It's green. It's beautiful. That is awesome. I can't believe we got our first mutation already. You are beautiful. Now we just got to get some more purples and get a fully mutated one that looks like that. Oh, man. That would be amazing. Can we get you out of here without you getting stuck? I suppose that would be the next question. No, you're stuck all up in the fam. Oh my goodness. So this is where probably using hatch frames would be beneficial since they are smaller. For some reason, I thought they were a little bit bigger as babies. Um, since they are smaller as babies, we could probably get away with using hatch frames instead of the uh, instead of the ceilings. There we go. Relinquish your grasp upon thy infant, please. Oh my goodness. 70% of the time it works every time. But yeah, that's a, actually... I definitely am going to like the mutations on these so much better than on the original Procoptodons. I mutated them once and it looked so bad. I was like, nope, never doing that again. Uh, but the fur looks significantly better now. So I have a feeling it'll be pretty good. So what do we got for timers on these guys? We got... 18 minutes there, 18 there, and then 12? I can't tell because there's stuff all up and everything. Pretty sure that said like 12. Oh, yep, 12. Okay. Not too bad. Well, that's unfortunate. So the baby popped out of there before we were able to get our first cuddle off, which kind of sucks. Um, it seems like our cutter... Cutter. Oh my god, what is wrong with my words today? Um, the cuddle interval on this particular server is all jacked up, I think. Um, not sure exactly what happened. It was correct before. Um, but anyways, we can still see what the basic cuddle setting is. And then we can go from there later on. So we got a couple more Procoptodons in here. Doesn't look like we got a mutation. There's one, like, all up in the booty over here. No mutation there. All right, and there's nothing over here. So not too bad. The pen is working quite well, and I'm not impatient. Yeah, so the silverback. Okay, yep, no, that's not a mutation either. Okay, so not too bad so far. All right, so we're almost ready for our first cuddle. Also, we have no game audio all of a sudden for something. For some reason, everything is a disaster. Um, and it wants a walk. So let's see what we get for our percentages for the first cuddle. I'm curious if our cuddle interval is jacked up or if it's really just that long for these. I usually... It's usually around like 10 minutes, so we got 50%. Oh my god. Interesting. I wonder what's going on. I wonder, it's you know, it might actually be part of the mod. Because we are using Extinction Core and it might actually overwrite our... Um, we'll have to go on Vanilla Server and test out the actual um, imprinting uh, differences. But we can do that in a little bit. So, anyways, we're still waiting on some mutations. It's only been a couple minutes since we were back last. And uh, hopefully we get some good stuff. Alright, so we should have a couple more babies in here. We got one there. No mutations. Uh, we got a couple more in here. Let's see if we can just move the parents around a little bit. Okay, that's not mutated. I think that might very well be the only other one. Yeah. What the hell is that noise? I hear something weird. Sound like something was talking. Do you guys make weird noises now? I think they do. What the hell is that? It's like making the same repeated noise. It's like really, really faint. You can barely hear it. Anyways, uh, I'm losing my mind. So I'll be back when I'm done losing my mind. We've got some more babies. Let's see what we got. Uh, no mutations there, nothing there, and nothing there. All right, well, it does not seem to be our lucky day so far, um, but otherwise, the, um, the Procoptodons are pretty darn amazing. I do have to say, uh, the Dire Wolves are definitely my favorite from the TLC patch so far. They did such a good job, and the- oh, hello. What are you doing out here? You escaped through the door, didn't you, you sneaky little kangaroo-ish thing? Can I touch your butt, please? Game, thank you. Oh, my lanta. Um, so yeah, behavior. 
disable wandering. Since you're smarter than the rest, you get to you get to live. Um, <laughs> yeah, the dire wolf model just looks so darn good. Well done to the creators, and the animation for the dire wolves is truly amazing. It looks so damn good. Um, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, you guys have seen it. I'm just gonna do it anyways because it's amazing. I mean, look at this thing run now. I think I do this every single episode. I gotta stop. You guys are gonna get sick of it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, still waiting for some more mutations. So we'll see what we get in a little bit. All right, it's been quite a while since we were back here. Let's see what we got going on in- Oh, it's beautiful. It's red. I was really hoping for another purple mutation so that we could get um, a really nice looking Procoptodon with the other purple one. Let's see what we got else in here. What we got else? Do I even speak English anymore? I don't think I do, honestly, at this point. So I got some issues with my, my mouth and my words and my brain. I don't even know what's going on. But that red does look very nice. Um, let's see. So yeah, we do not have any other mutations. God, now we need colors to match with that one for a fully mutated Procoptodon. I don't know. That is awesome. That red looks really... Really? You're just cutting me off like that, huh? Who do you think you are? Procoptodon. Alright, so we got the red one fully grown. I gotta say, it looks magnificent fully grown. And I figured we'd go over a little bit of the new things that have come from the patch as far as the Procoptodons go. Now, you obviously see we've got new movement animations, we've got the new model, and they've got some new sounds as well. That weird sound that I heard earlier is actually a sound that comes from the Procoptodon. Uh, but we've got a really, really nice knockback. There's a rock and a tree. Whoa! Hey there, Sabretooth. Um, we've got a very nice knockback now as well with the right click, which does that. And then we've got a left click attack as always. Now, um, so that is about it. Now, we, I think we can also... Oh, man, we just launched those things really far. Very nice. Now, it also will affect things that are much bigger than it. Let's see if we can find something... A little bit bigger than a saber tooth, maybe. I'm also curious. It looked like we did a little, little grab attack. Oh, that's you know what? That's to pick up stuff and just shove it into your little hole. That that sounds weird. Uh, so that's how you can pick up players and actually stuff them inside. I almost said stuff them inside your hole again. Stuff them inside of your pouch. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Carno. That's bigger than. Well, it's actually really not bigger, but. Bam. Bam. So it's quite a good knockback. I believe it does torpor damage as well. Oh, there's a little baby thing. I wonder if I could pick that up. Little baby, uh, um, uh, the horny dragon. There we go. Thorny dragon. You know the words I'm trying to say. Anyways, let's go ahead and... Can we pick that up? No. I wonder if we can actually pick up babies that way. That'd be pretty interesting. So really, that's about it. We can pick stuff up and put them into our pouch. Uh, we've got the ability that when we have a baby dino in the pouch and we imprint on it, we'll get an affinity bonus. So you guys will have to spend less time imprinting and less resources imprinting for those of you on official servers. So that is very, very good news for all of you. I'm sure you guys are thrilled for that. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we got any babies in here that we can pick up and stuff in our little pouch. Oh. Oh, hello. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, whoa. Slow your roll there, home skillet. You are a juvenile, but can you be pouched? I think maybe. But it is, it's got a purple mutation on it. Sweet baby beluga whale. Oh, and it's stuck. There's another baby in there as well. It is Stuckosaurus Rexed. What are you stuck on? Just the universe? The world? Well, there's another baby here. Okay, now you're unstuck. Let's just get them both out, just in case we can't get that one. Um, I haven't actually tried to pick anything up other than using the radial menu yet, so I'm curious. It definitely looks... Oh my god, that thing's got the brain worms. It doesn't know what its life is anymore. Um, can we just stuff you in our little pouch? Yeah, baby! Oh, that's awesome. Alright, can we press C to unstick you from pouch? Yes, we can. Very nice. Uh, behavior, disable wandering. So there we go. I've been using the radial menu, but it's nice that you can just walk up to it and stuff it in your pouch. I don't know why I haven't tried that before, but that purple one looks amazeballs. I am very excited to, um, to mix those two colors now. 
Thankfully, we got it out. There we go. Are you still on wandering? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I like that it's already a juvenile and it still has 20% timer on its imprinting, but there we go. We can stuff it in our little pouch. We'll keep it safe. Oh, I'm so excited. That's going to look so good with that purple back. Now, after sitting here, waiting for it to become fully grown, super excited to crossbreed these two things, I finally realize they're both females. It's a crime against humanity, ladies. Actually, all of the mutations I've got are females. Can you freaking believe it? What is this world coming to? Um, so yeah, I don't have any new babies yet, but they are getting their groove on. I just wanted to bring you back and express my utter disappointment in my lack of, I don't know, paying attention. All right, so I really wanted to see just how much of an imprinting boost we get when um, the creatures are in the Procoptodon's pouch. So first we need to test it out without being in the pouch and we'll see what we get here for the first cuddle. All right, so we got 8% on our first cuddle. Not too bad. So we're at 23%. Can we still, can we still pick it up? Oh my goodness. All right, so it looks like we can only keep it in the pouch until it's probably about 20% and then it can no longer be in the pouch which I mean at least you get a good boost in the affinity for the first couple levels um it'll be really good if it's a if it's, if it's a nice big boost we'll find out here in a second okay so we've got the baby in the pouch ready for a cuddle and it's got the little icon over its head let's see what we get so we got 17% that way. That is quite a good bonus. Now you guys do need to make sure that the Procoptodon is mate boosted for this to work. If it's not mate boosted, it won't. So we got, what was it? 8% um, before and went all the way up to 17%. So 9% increase in um, imprinting percent, which is very very good. That could be significant. For those of you that are early game, that could be possibly, you know, what's the difference between a fully imprinted one and a non-imprinted one, or just getting some really good dinos right off the bat. So that is amazing. Anyone who's playing Ark definitely needs to get a Procoptodon, especially early game because when you start breeding having things imprinted is very, very important and it can really save your ass in a pinch. And it's definitely something you need to do. So being able to get that bonus imprinting early game is going to be pretty much the best thing ever. So these things have really become almost indispensable. You, you need them now. Definitely need them. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. That is all I've got for this episode. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.